Hello my sweet friends and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Jamie and it's Vlogmas, day 10. This has been a whirlwind and I'm handling it. I'm too proud of me, I just, you know. Now I know that I can do this all the time and not fret because I can tape and roll, tape and roll, tape and roll. day set up for today. Breakfast, lunch, packed. I'm going to show you my snacks, show you my lunch. I am headed to work. I'm going to do the gym this afternoon. Oh, that reminds me. I've got to go to get a tank top. Gym this afternoon. Oh, I have a tank top. Never mind. I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to go to the gym right after work, get that out of the way, get home. Dinner is going to be really good tonight. I am making the chili I hope I'm making might have to run and get some beans chili skillet cornbread skillet so I'm gonna do that tonight that's from like cravings as well and Lily's eating her food if you can hear that all right so I'm gonna get to work yes I have another cute sweatshirt on because it's sweatshirt weather around here and with me running around being a preschool teacher it just feels comfortable anyway all right I'm gonna measure my coffee creamer out show you guys my food do all the things and roll with it. Let me show you what's on. I need there. that breakfast casserole goodness hash. <laughs> so that's what I'm having for breakfast. Then I'm having a taco bowl from the other night that I had left over. I've got my almonds measured out. I've got these cute little gluten-free wafers. I'll show you those today. But that's what I'm setting up my lunchbox for today, keeping it simple and yummy and filling. So All right, so friends, off good. work and taking care of my brother. We're going through the Sonic drive Three. No. He's on TikTok Live. Because he's up? cool on this TikTok. YouTube? Mm -hmm, this is YouTube. What's up, YouTube? He's Subscribe, BJ Swagger, YouTube. I got more views on YouTube than you do. Oh, God. No, he's like through, amazing on TikTok. I went through your YouTube the other day. It's five. <laughs> you, you got we're, me beat. We're getting there. Uh-oh, that lady's leaving. Oh, no, Let's be not. famous one day together. We're going to be famous together. That's our goal in life is to be famous together. You can be the skinny version or the fat version of me. <laughs> anyway, this is my brother. Hey. Okay, the sun's really bad, so I'm going to cut it off. But we're going to Sonic. We're getting a diet cherry limeade. What are you getting? You told me I'm getting a Reese's Blast with, with hot, hot fudge. fudge and extra Reese's. Yes. All right, we'll check Guys, that, that was so much fun. I haven't spent time with my brother in a hot minute. He is so cute, but we went to God's Sonic. It's my favorite. So, I'm headed home. Cannot wait to see my family. Um, I think Chaz is already home. I have to tell you that I have a confession. So, when your kids become adults, <laughs> they kind of ask you for things for Christmas that they need or well, they want. Parker had broken his remote control to his Xbox, and so for Christmas, he wanted a new controller. Well, I caved, and I gave that baby his Christmas gift because I felt bad, and it's like his little thing he likes to do, so, but I am really being good this year. I put the kiddos, I did a limit on each of them, and that is all I'm spending since I have four kiddos now. I have a new a son in love and so I have four kids to buy for and I feel like yeah they're adults they're getting big they're getting big they're getting older and you know anyway so I'm okay with that I think it's about that time you know these kids get and get and get and get and get and sometimes it's nice just to halt and truly find joy in the season and not be so wrapped up in all the things gift wise but anyway I don't know how you guys feel about that or how you've done gifts we've always done kind of a three gifts baby Jesus got three gifts and so we always got our children like three gifts I would get them extra things like clothes and things like that but um, that we try to limit and try to be really really mindful of those things. I'm not saying we were perfect, but we tried really hard and I feel like anyway, it's it's neat when they are now grown and they're having they have their own families now. Well one of them does and it'll just be a different year for us and I'm trying to embrace all the feels of that because Calista won't be home Christmas morning and but I'm okay with that. I feel like my babies need to grow up. They need to venture out. They need their own little lives. And it's really cool watching all this all unfold. And I am so thankful for my sweet family. Like seriously, so thankful. Oh, and I went 
pumped gas just a minute ago. You guys, no lie, I got $5 within 15 minutes. So I stopped pumping and I'm gonna have to go get gas tomorrow. I was like, I can't stand here for 87 years and pump gas. I don't know what's wrong with their pump, but it was slower than molasses and I did not have the time nor the energy to, you know, hang out and um, do that. Um, sorry guys, I got a yellow light, I didn't realize because I can't see, the sun's so bright. But anyway, so I'm headed home finally. I am making a chili, it's from Jerry Light Cravings, um, chili mac cornbread dish, like one pot dish thing. So I'm excited about making that. I had to grab a couple of things from Publix. So, and do you ever go to the search engine on Instagram and you see these beautiful recipes pop up? My, one of my old time favorite, favorite, favorite holiday treats is the pumpkin roll. And if you've never made one, you have to try it. It's, um, so it's a little bit difficult. You have to roll it. So it's like you, you learn. It's it's just a neat baking little thing that I just like to do. I like a challenge, and it's a challenged baking thing. So I'm all here for it. Anyway, so I'm going to make that this weekend. I thought that I would do a couple fun recipes for you guys this weekend. Kind of do like a bake with me because it's just that time. And I'm normally I normally bake a lot of things during the holiday season. And I really haven't done that. I didn't really do that last year. So I thought, why not do that this year and share with you guys? And I thought that would be so much fun. So headed home, I think that's what I'm going to do is sit down tonight and really kind of look at that and see what I can make for you guys. And what, what would you like to see? Like, do you want to see desserts? Do you want to see side dishes? Do you want to just see um, snacks? What else um, you would like to see that um, I could make for you guys? would be so cool and so much fun. So I am headed home. I will finish up making dinner with you guys and then we'll finish this vlogmas up for today. I am sorry that I didn't get on and talk to you guys about lunch and all that, but you saw what I had in my lunchbox. It's just really crazy at school right now and I have to really focus on my babes and really spend time with them. And so that's what I was really focused on today. I got all their crafts done. I promise I will show you the end result of all of those. They were super cute and super precious and I'm glad it's done. I am just glad it's done because that just takes a huge load off this preschool teacher. Let me tell you when all the crafts are done. All right, so I'm headed home and I will check back in. Mm -hmm. Dinner is on you guys and I am so excited about this recipe. So this is Light Craving Skillet Chili Cornbread. So it is a beanless chili, but I'm going to add beans to it because I do not have all the good veggies that is in this dish and my boys like beans and meat. So I'm kind of tweaking it to the way that my family likes it. So I have got the onion, garlic, and celery. I've got it sauteed and I am not using all this hamburger meat. It's two and a half pounds. So I'm gonna use about, this is probably about almost two pounds of meat, maybe not two pounds, but I'm gonna do this little, and it calls for 99% fat free. I'm using 90, 10 ground beef of 99% fat free ground turkey. I am using 90, 10 beef because we need some fat. So I'm going to saute this or cook it through. And I'm going to go ahead and add my seasonings. And I've got them pre-measured so they'd be ready for you guys. So I would, I, would, I would look a little bit more with it tonight. So this is two tablespoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of dried oregano, one teaspoon of salt, one fourth teaspoon of cayenne pepper. That's optional. And I'm just going to sprinkle it over my meat and cook this mixture. And it also calls for chicken broth. I am going to just use crushed tomatoes instead. And this also, this recipe calls for, for you to do your cornmeal and flour and all the things. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna use, because it's already pre-mixed and ready, I'm going to use my Live G Free cornmeal mix cornbread mix so i'm gonna go ahead while this is cooking i might need to turn up the heat on that 
While this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and mix this cornbread recipe together. Guys, I wish you could smell this. All right, so I've got my meat mixture exactly the way I want it. And I'm going to add in eight ounces of tomato sauce. So it called for 16, so I'm going to also add in about 12 ounces of this crushed tomatoes. And then one can of diced tomatoes. It also calls for fire roasted. I didn't have fire roasted. So I improvised. So that is my meat mixture with my tomatoes. I'm gonna stir that. And then I'm gonna add just two cups of beans. So this is one can of pintos, one can of red beans. And I'm gonna mix that together. You guys, it's so good. So I'm gonna let this cook a little bit. I've already got my muffin, my corn muffin mix already ready so I can just dump on top and you bake all this together in the oven. That's what I gotta do, put the oven on. 400 degrees, but I'm gonna let this kinda infuse all those good seasonings and all the things this has been so much fun cooking for you guys this week i'm serious i've loved doing this and doing new recipes that i haven't made before and i'm all for that all right be back in just a second all right here is this beautiful mixture all together so I've got the oven set and I'm going to pour the corn meal or cornbread mix batter on top. Making sure it's all mixed up guys because you know, I want to make sure it's mixed up. Oh my gosh, only me, only me. And spread it out some, I gotta get make sure it's all even. Of course I should have thinned that out a little bit more it looks like. All right, hold on. You just need to stop cooking. Could have turned off the heat too, huh? So note to self, make sure you spread it a little bit more evenly when you do it. <laughs> Get all those thick chunks out. We went with the even cornbread here, people. All right, so I'm just gonna smur it. I'm gonna smur it around. Then we'll put it in the oven, bake this bad boy, and show you guys the after. So we'll be right back. I have to show you the after of this gorgeous pie. Yum. Oh. All right, sweet friends. Here's dinner. Yum. All right, so I'm going to go eat and I'm going to finish up the night watching Grissom's movies with Dave. Thank you again for taking the time to watch my videos and this vlogmas has just been way too much fun. Always remember, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're loved, you're enough, and you're flipping phenomenal. Love you guys so stinking much.